Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. I'm Anton, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to set up the Eclipse emulator for iOS. Also, I have brought in Lucky Lakitu aboard to help out with the video as well. Hey everybody, Lucky Lakitu here. This is an unrevocable emulator that is extremely easy to use and play. It can play NES, Sega Master System, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance games. The performance has significantly increased in the 2.2 update, which resolves issues with sound. So anyways, before we get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to see future content on the channel, and let's get started. First things first, you will need an iOS device. Now this emulator does work on PCs, Macs, and most devices that use an internet browser, but this emulator is tailored towards the iOS operating system, as it pretty much uses the Safari web browser to its advantage. So first, what you want to do is go down into the description of this video and copy the link down below. Once you have done that, then head to your Safari browser, and then paste the link. This should bring you to this website. Don't worry about setting it up yet, as we will do this after. So click on the share icon that looks like a box with an arrow on the top and then find the add to home screen icon. Click on it and then name the emulator whatever you want, but I'm going to name it Eclipse. Now press add and you should see the app icon on your home screen. Click on the app and then you'll be greeted by this screen that we saw before when we were on Safari. Follow the setup guide and then when you are done, you'll be in the home screen of the Eclipse emulator. Now I cannot tell you where to exactly find ROMs due to legal issues, but Google is your best friend when it comes to this. To add a game, go to the plus button. Once pressed, it will display a drop down menu that will give you multiple options to get your file from. Eclipse makes it easy to connect Dropbox or Google Drive to store all of your ROMs and files. Select your game that will be added to your library. If you want, you can edit the box art and name just by holding the icon or sliding to the left in list mode. Eclipse at one point was able to put in automatic box art, however, it doesn't seem like that is working or even implemented anymore. It is disappointing as it is quite a tedious process if I'm going to be honest. Just find the image online then either copy the link of the photo to paste it in or just save the photo to your camera roll to just put it in that way. Just press save to save all of the changes. Now you can just click the box art and it will start the loading process. Now Eclipse isn't the most polished emulator out there. Of course, the performance of the emulator will vary from device to device. I'm using an iPhone 7 for this tutorial, and I've had a few bugs and glitches here and there. Sometimes you will have issues where the box art doesn't load up correctly. You can try refreshing it by just changing the game, organization appearance, from list to icons. But sometimes the images will just get all glitched up, requiring you to use another image. It's incredibly annoying and quite tedious as well. If you are experiencing sped up gameplay, which I specifically get this issue on Game Boy games, you just need to reset the app. And every time you reset the app, you need to log in again to your Google Drive account, which is incredibly annoying. You might experience horrible performance of Game Boy Advance games. If this happens, you'll need to reset the cache and settings. This doesn't delete any save data or games or files, just some of the junk, useless files sitting in the background. Some games might not even load up at all and have weird errors. And if this keeps happening over and over again, you need to clear out space off the Eclipse app. And don't you just love the grammar in this application? Honestly, it's quality at its finest. There are probably many other issues, but these are just the ones that I have experienced, so do take that into consideration. So I would say give the emulator a shot, and while if everything goes according to plan and runs really smoothly, this might be a great way to experience those classic games, especially the Game Boy Advance games. Just sadly, the link cable functionality does not work, so multiplayer games and Game Boy titles are not playable at the moment, but things may change as this emulator is in active development. So hopefully we finally see SNES games on the emulator someday. And don't try Game Gear games, I learned that the hard way. Anyways guys, that's about it for the video. If you do have any issues, make sure to leave them in the comment section. Thanks to Lucky Lakitu for helping me out with this epic video. And well, if you want to check out his full review of the Eclipse emulator, then head down to the description or click the card in the top right corner. And I will see you guys in the next one.